confidence about the confidence confidence is just a single word but which strengthens you which empowers you which gives you power which makes you stand in front of any number of the people so that it can make you realize that you are powerful person in this world lagi mein do logo ka examples lete hain ek insaan jo ek gaon mein paida hota hai aur usi gaon mein wo jawan hota hai buddha ho jata hai usi ek ghar mein usi simit daire mein aur ek dusre insaan ka example lete hain wo insaan ek gaon mein paida hota hai वहाँ से निकलता है पढ़ाई करता है दुनिया को समझता है एक्सप्लोर करता है समाज को समझता है और दोनों इंसान में अगर आप एक फ़र्क नापेंगे तो लेंगे तो दोनों इंसान के बीच में एक फ़र्क मिलेगा कि ये इंसान जो दुनिया को देखा है जो दुनिया को समझा है उसके अंदर एक आत्मविश्वास होगा खुद को लेकर एक यकीन होगा और ए इंसान के पास इस इंसान के पास एक डर एक वहम एक शक होगा अपने आप को लेकर उसकी पर्सनैलिटी को लेकर अपने व्यक्तित्व को लेकर Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to understand a very deep point about self-confidence, about the confidence. Confidence is just a single word, but which strengthens you, which empowers you, which gives you power, which makes you stand in front of any number of the people, so that it can make you realize that you are powerful person in this world. आप इस दुनिया में एक शख्सियत है इस जहान में आपका एक मुकाम है उस मुकाम को हासिल करने के लिए आपको अगर कोई चीज चाहिए यू नीड कॉन्फिडेंस आपको आत्मविश्वास चाहिए द कॉन्फिडेंस वर्ड हैज बीन ड्राइव फ्रॉम द लैटिन वर्ड फाइडार कॉन्फिडेंस वर्ड जो शब्द लिया गया है वो लैटिन वर्ड फेडार से लिया गया है और फेडार का मतलब होता है ट्रस्ट विश्वास यकीन भरोसा वट इज बिलीफ वट इज ट्रस्ट what is esteem what is strength what is capacity what is power what is efficacy you have to understand that and that means uska matlab hota hai yakeen and this belief this trust of doing something taking some risks in your life initiating something beginning something is the ultimate and the most important part of your life if you have trust and belief for taking an action or doing an action initiating something you can do anything in your life from trekking the mountains to climbing upon the mountains from trekking the mountains to just be upon the stage from flying in the plane to speak in front of thousands and lakhs of the people what you need that's a common thing that is confidence my dear friends what you need you need confidence you want to do anything out of beat any unique task in your life you need confidence first of all let's understand that there are how many types of confidence varieties of the confidence according to in terms of situations and conditions first we talk about the high confidence which is overconfidence which is the which is the second term of overconfidence and this overconfidence is absolutely not required to develop your personality and don't adopt overconfidence in your life because this overconfidence will put a barrier a barricading in front of your mind yours your you and you will not get ready to accept someone's opinion you will not get ready to value others views and points and you will not be ready to learn from others that's why overconfidence is not required to develop and proceed in your life and one another point another situational confidence which is low confidence low confidence will not allow you to engage to connect to communicate to talk to network to discuss to approach to propose why because this is about so low confidence this low confidence will always make you dumb make you dull this always will make you down will make you inferior and this will not allow you to stay happy and relaxed with anyone that is why avoid both the options avoid this over confidence avoid this low confidence but adopt accept optimal confidence optimal confidence is the midway which is positive which is required which is important and which is must for each and every one
what is optimal confidence the level the balance confidence which is required for everyone which is mandatory for everyone and everyone must possess in himself or herself because it's important my dear friends now let's understand the differences the varieties the types of the confidence apart from these three situational based confidence the first is task based confidence task based confidence if you are a professional person you are doing something you have a profession and that is your job that's your duty that's your task that you have to do that daily that is called task based confidence for example you are a painter you do good paintings that's your task based confidence you are a carpenter you do the car paintings that's your task based confidence you are a teacher you what do you need to understand everybody a max number of the people they possess the carry self confidence and the confidence for their task and professions and for their jobs but then another term comes which is about situational based confidence this is little difficult typical and complicated because we face a lot of problems and barriers at the time of facing situational based uh, situations and circumstances the circumstance comes into our lives like for example we need to present we need to represent we need to deliver a speech we need to address the audience we need to go for a speech and presentation we go blank and we just act like a stupid person my god i don't know anything and i can't speak mai nahi bol sakta yaar because i don't have that self efficacy self belief and self trust self esteem and self confidence and i can't speak that time you face the problems and challenges no you don't need to do that because you need to be expert you need to be confident and you need to gain confidence i will tell you give the tips and the tricks that how to gain confidence i will definitely tell you ladies and gentlemen but let's understand the third point which is very and very important because it is the life routine it is the daily routine of your life what is that that is general confident and this general confident is actually ultimate it's required it's important because it is it is actually the need and the necessity of every individual in your daily life you face some challenges some problems or some circumstances you eat food you go to for, you go for the party you go to the marriages you go and meet the people you go for the classes you go uh, just for interacting some stranger people you go for approaching you go for uh, proposals for each and everything what you need you need just a little confidence and that is called general confidence my dear friends that is called general confidence do you have general confidence do you have self confidence do you have self efficacy do you have self strength do you have power do you have self esteem if you have you are going to mark your name in the history of history right that's why you will become a mystery my dear friends and let's understand this first of all if we try to understand that why this confidence matters why this confidence is important why there are trainers and institutions that they want to build confidence with uh, in us why they always talk about the confidence building why they always encourage us and support us for confidence building why everyone ask for that is he or she confident or not why all the recruiters job givers they ask for the confidence that do you have or not why all the interviewers ask for the confidence that you have or not because this matters ultimately this matters why this matters this matters to communicate this matters to show your leadership skills this matters to show your potential this matters to communicate with each person this matters to address the large number of the people this matters to take risk in your life this matters to do risk in your life because this matters this is important this matters and if you have if you possess this confidence you believe me my dear people and friends one day will come the world will recognize you the will world will identify you and the world will appreciate and salute you because of your confidence now let's understand how to build confidence you would have seen maximum of the people that who possess a big confidence a great confidence you meet those people and you get impressed and fascinated why because they have the good smile they have the good charm they have good glow they have good communication skills they have good interactions and talking styles because they have one of the greatest thing that is confidence that is confidence do you have that do you have that ask yourself and if you don't have that just listen for example if you talk about different types of confidence are there we have 
that's you know epistemic confidence social confidence awkward confidence all right other types of confidence we have but now for example if somebody has a designation somebody has reached to the milestone that milestone somebody has reached to the next level of he in his or her life he will or she will feel confident for example if you talk to the prime minister of india if you talk to the president of a country he or she will feel always confident maybe he does not possess the confidence or he was not having that confidence earlier but the moment he will achieve his designation that prime ministerial post the presidential post designation he or she will be automatically confident why because that designation will empower and give him or her the power the confidence so remember one thing in your life that designations give you confidence if somebody qualifies the ies indian administrative service he or she is going to be automatically confident if somebody becomes the dm district magistrate of a district he or she is going to be confident why because he has that command he has that designation or she has that position that's why he or she will feel confident my dear friends but now what's next for us what we need to do we need to actually see there are two situations one thing is that that you upskill yourself you innovate yourself you explore yourself you realize yourself you analyze yourself you synergize yourself you teach yourself you train to yourself and you just inform update upgrade to yourself and mark your name you know what happens we are not ready to learn we are not ready to face the challenges so for this what you need you need experiences i would like to mention here one of the greatest moment of my life i went to masuri what happened with me i was just going at the highest peak of masuri by the scooty and i was riding 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 but i was completely scared because it was just new for me it was just a fresh way fresh route for me it was completely you know that high it was that completely deep pit i was like oh my god it was very high mountain nobody was there it was like completely desert i was scared i was, i felt like some lion is going going to jump at me and some lion is going to attack me some tiger is going to come here because I I was completely unaware a new person for that the moment i reached to the destination at the time of coming back i was experienced and i felt like wow this route i know and i'm known to this i'm familiar with this ladies and gentlemen what i learned from that situation from that incident i learned one of the greatest thing that is experience experience gives you confidence why because you come upon the stage first time your legs shiver your body shivers your hands shiver your tongue shivers your mind gets slips but again and again if you come upon the stage you will be experienced and by your experience you can be a great and effective public speaker and motivational speaker this is what you need to keep in your mind experience matters then what matters next knowledge information because if i have knowledge if i possess my knowledge in my mind i can answer anywhere i can communicate with anyone i can just answer to anybody because i have that knowledge for example the latest world cup australia won six times i just possess the knowledge and information about that world cup if there are some people who are talking about the world cup match between india and australia i could say that these were the baller that was a batsman he just scored this many runs he just took this many wickets because i can just communicate and i can actually you know contribute the points in that discussion or that debate so what i need to do i need to keep information and knowledge in my mind third thing is explore explore every moment and every time we stop ourselves we think that we are complete we are perfect we are just now okay but we are not actually nobody is perfect in the world nobody is complete in the world only the god is complete the god have made created all the creatures and all the creatures who have been created by the god they are not complete that's why they need actually something in their lives and they need to do that they need to go for that they need to experiment that they need to most important they need to explore next point comes visits go other different places visit there try to understand the culture of that try to understand the culture of that try to just you know um, uh, adopt the cultures of that traditions of that the language of that the region of that the atmosphere of that you will be more and more confident because you will try to know about more more most of the number of the people and you will possess confidence in yourself 
that is the ultimate thing you read more and more books to actually gain more and more information meet different and stranger and unknown people you will gain more confidence in your life and you will be one of the best one of the best version of yourself my dear friends believe me and trust me for this but we don't understand this and we just make a blunder we make a lot of mistakes for that and why do we do such we don't know so when you wake up early in the morning keep positive thought in your mind do something that makes you happy go for that which makes you fun which gives you fun which gives you joy which makes you jolly whatever you fear whatever is dangerous for you take risk for that and do again and again because consistency persistence and actually practice that makes you perfect that's why go for that and be persistent be consistent it's okay i am getting failures rejections people are laughing and people are criticizing it's okay i will just be persistent and consistent and i will experiment it and i will do it again and again until and unless i master it and you believe me that one day you will see the next version the best version of yourself thank you very much may god bless you thank you may god give you great confidence